Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson, and you are watching Get Your Sax Together. Now, the blues scale. You all know about the minor blues scale. You've learned it in a million improvisation um, workshops and all the rest of it. But I'm going to show you a really cool flex today, which is going to transform your blues scale and give it that really pro sounding, really soulful, bluesy dimension. And we're going to combine it with the major third of the key, which is the old blues scale to the major third of the key lick. We've got four different examples, actual real world examples, which we're gonna break down. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this lick works. This is really gonna transform your blues playing, let me tell you. But just before we get there, if you want to transform your playing all round, check out my free Saxophone Success Masterclass. you just got to fill in your email and then it's all yours. Help yourself. It's my gift to you. And also, I'll be going into this in a lot more depth inside my Inner Circle membership. Go and check out the Inner Circle membership. There's loads of really cool, enthusiastic sax players in there. It's an absolutely awesome community. We get world-class guests and there's loads of other cool content as well, including an inspirational solo of the month. So go and check out the Inner Circle. Right, without further ado, let's Let's now crack on and start breaking down this minor blues scale with the major third flex. Here we go. All right, let's look at our first example today. And it is from the one and only Cannibal Adley. And oh my gosh, how bluesy does Cannibal Adley sound? Let's get the music up for this lick and let's have a little listen to it. This is from his uh, live version of Jive Samba from the Best of the Capital Years album. And it sounds like this. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> All the uh, the music that you can see beneath there, it's not really exactly what they play, but it will give you an idea of the notes. So let's have a little look at this lick. I'm going to play it for you first. <laughs> So, if you want to make it sound bluesy, you have to use that little scoop into the major third, otherwise it just won't sound as good. So, that little scoop sounds like this. And another key component of this lick is the way it goes from the fourth to the root to the major third. So you can see that it goes from G to D to F sharp and then back to the root. Okay, let's have another little listen to that lick again, the way Cannibal plays it. Okay, well, let's now move on to example number two. Now, Mike Brecker is one of the greatest bluesy sax players of all time. So we've got to have a bit of Mike Brecker in there. Now, this one is taken from uh, the Blues Shuffle tune, Inside Out, from the Brecker Brothers album, Heavy Metal Bebop, which is a really classic album. It's super full on. Um, now, Brecker is doing exactly the same thing. Now, coincidentally, this is in exactly the same key as the first example, which is D for me on alto. Obviously, the original's played on tenor, but I'm just sticking with alto today. So, this is what it sounds like. Let's say that one more time. One more time. <laughs> How good is that? So I'll play it for you. First of all, uh, full speed, and then we'll slow it down and have a look what's going on and how it compares to the first example, the things we learned. So let's break it down a little bit slower. Let's play that a bit slower for you. Now, this is a little bit different from the first example because Mike Brecker starts off with the uh, minor pentatonic, this bit here. But then 
in, instead of sticking with the the uh, minor pentatonic blues scale, he then switches to this. Um, uh, remember, we're in D here. It's like a sort of D nine, really, isn't it? Except with that additional G in there. Now, remember, I said that a lot of the success of this lick revolves around going from the G to the D to the F sharp, which is the fourth to the root to the major third with a little scoop on it. And that's what uh, Mike Brecker does here. But the little twiddly bit at the top is different. Of course, no mic breaker, it all happens at the speed of light. <laughs> so those, uh, what is it? It's not semi-quavers, demi-semi-quavers or semi-demi-quavers? 30 second notes anyway. They happen really fast. But like I said before, uh, if you're playing this type of thing, you can slow it down so you don't have to have those flurries. The main thing is just hit the fourth, the root, and scoop to the major third, and then back to the root. Okay, now let's move on to our next example, which is going to be Sunny Stitt. Here we go. So our next example is from one of my favourite sax players of all time, which is Sunny Stitt. Oh my god, he's such a good bebop player, such an incredible blues player as well. Now, what you're going to see on the music there is not really what happens. Again, it's just an approximation so you can kind of see the harmony that's used. And this is again a slightly different variation on the theme. So let's first of all hear Sunny Step play this. <laughs> So there's actually two phases to this line. He does the same sort of idea twice in a row. So you can see in the second bar that it goes like this. So that's one way of using the major third. Um, ba, major third, da, da, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. So it's all just the major scale, basically, C major scale. But then in the second half of the lick, now you'll notice that the final note is actually down the octave this time. The first two examples is gone ba, ba, up, up a sixth. Now it's going down a third. Ba, ba, and that's another variation that you can use. So we've got the minor third, which is the E flat there. It goes uh, to the ninth and then back to the minor third, the E flat. Now look, here's our key component again, where it goes to the fourth and then the third. <laughs> Now, in this example, you can see that it goes from the uh, the fifth to the fourth to the fifth, and then back. So little variations that you can throw in. Let's hear let's hear uh, Sunny Stick play one more time. <laughs> oh, so good, isn't it? It's so bluesy. It's fantastic. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. All right, so once more, we can see that he's using uh, components of the blue scale, components of the major scale, just like Mike Brecker in the last example, and then resolving down to that major third, which is giving that really bluesy sound, which is kind of counterintuitive because you would think using the major third uh, isn't bluesy, <laughs> but it is, especially when you just scoop into it. All right, we've got one more example to look at, and for this, we're going back. We're going back to look at uh, Cannibal Ladley uh, with a different example this time. Let's check it out. Okay, once again, we're going back to Cannibal Adderley, but take it from me, you are gonna find this bluesy thing where you play the kind of blues scale at the top and then go down and scoop into the major third and back to the root. You are gonna find this absolutely everywhere. So just next time you hear it, go, oh yeah, that's that thing that Jamie said on his video. <laughs> because believe me, once you've spotted it, you will never stop spotting it. All right, let's move on to this. It's Cannibal Adderley. It's from his tune, Waybosh. 
Wabash, Wab, Wabash. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. So somebody in the comments, just tell me how to pronounce it. Wabash, 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 Wab, Wabosh. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's from his, uh, his album, Cannibal Lily Quintet, live in Chicago, or just in Chicago. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Now, there's one bar before you're going to see what's notated there. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. So here's the bit that you can actually see written there. One more time. So it sounds like this. Now this time I threw this example in because he doesn't actually go back to blah, blah. It doesn't go back to the root like the others. So it's just to show you that you can use that major third and then just go to the fifth if you want. For example, if it went back to the root, it would sound like this. And uh, that would sound absolutely fantastic as well, but um, it, it, it actually goes to the fifth, which is really cool. So let's have a little uh, breakdown of what happens here. The first bit is all the, we're in the key of A here. The first bit is all the A minor blues scale. And actually, if you stop there, that would just be an absolutely awesome blues lick on the minor blues scale in itself. But it's the way it resolves to the major at the end, which really makes it. And remember, always have that scoop into your major third to make it work. We've now looked at the masters. We've seen four fantastic examples of uh, mixing up the minor blues scale and different variations of it resolving to the third and making it sound super bluesy. But how do you bring this into your own playing? Because that's what we're really interested in after all, isn't it? How can you make your own blues playing really improve? So this is my little tip for you. What you're gonna do is do some sort of variation of the minor blues scale. Let's say we're in, we're in C, okay? And I'm playing C in alto, so this is gonna be a concert E flat. You're gonna play some sort of variation of the blues scale and make sure that the last two notes of that run are the fourth and the root. So in my key at the moment is F and C. Then you scoop into the third and you go back up to the root. So the key bit is the final bit. Ba, bo, ba, ba. But what happens before? You just kind of work your way down the blues scale to get there. So have a lot of fun with it. Practice it in a few different keys that you've got a song that you know you have to improvise in. And I think your blues playing is really, really gonna come on. Okay, that's all we got time for this week. I cannot wait to hear what your blues playing is gonna sound like with this new flex. Believe me, it's gonna rock the world of your audience and all the people in your band when you're suddenly doing this really cool stuff. <laughs> all right, three little parish notices before we go. Number one, check out the Saxophone Success Masterclass, link there. Number two, do join us inside the Inner Circle membership. There's a free trial anyway, so if you don't like it, you will not be out of pocket. There's so many cool sax players in there. Um, there's so many international guests. There's so much great content. You are going to love it. So check it out using the link there. And finally, if you bought me a coffee, I really appreciate it. And if you want to buy me a coffee, um, 
uh, use the link that you can see there and I am very grateful. All right, until next week, there will be more, more getting your sacks together. <laughs> so practice hard, practice smart and enjoy your music. Take it easy. With the major... Th this is bull****. Oops. Make sure that you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. I'm going to say about coffees, dang.